our five rice cakes pre-workout then we have our post-workout banana i already have my protein shake in my gym bag got my water that i just drink all throughout the day 20 ounces worth it has the uh the filter in there so it cleans out the water you know they say it doesn't purify it but it keeps it clean get rid get rid of the bacteria and all that and i think i'm gonna have um, yeah i'm gonna do i'm gonna do the chocolate chocolate chip yeah, I'm going to do this one today. I'm going to put this one in the bag for tomorrow just to have it. Make sure I don't forget it. And that is... Oh, let me grab my lunch. Can't forget the lunch. The lunch that I left yesterday. <laughs> uh, the panini, chicken, spinach, mushroom, and the wood fire. Wood fire pizza. So... Those two would be lunch. Get my lean cuisine on. And let's head to work. What's going on, family? X Factor family, how y'all doing out there today? Coming at you with a leg workout, lower body workout right here. Uh, Threw on some quads and some hams and also some calves on this on this day right here. So uh, actually, this was yesterday, so it's fairly fresh in my mind. Let's see how good I can get it. But anyways, always always starting with a warm up. I'm starting to warm up more, and especially because I've been doing some research on. Uh, low bar squatting and uh, technique and form and you really can improve your form by being uh, more mobile so fixing your mobility so I'm just getting out the kinks with my uh, foam rolling uh, loosening up the lower back loosening up the uh, the hams the quads just all certain different areas and also the shoulder area what I've, what I've learned from uh, Omar is that Omar Isof, what I learned from him is that uh, your shoulder mobility plays a lot in your positioning of the low bar squat. So you can have better form if you position the bar right. And by positioning the bar right, you have to have your shoulders mobile enough. But anyways, so after the foam rolling, I went and jumped into some uh, these uh, hip adductors as always, uh, just to loosen up the hips. Doing, I did, I did three sets of 15 on this day. Then uh, didn't do four sets of 20, just three sets of 15. Lunch break, got to get it in real quick. But got it in good enough to where I was loose and I was warm. So then I moved on to the squats, acclimated the weight. Started with 225, just get a few reps, a couple reps. Then 275, 295. And then I went ahead and did 320, got that for a rep. And then just to test my strength, went ahead and threw uh, two quarters on there on each side so 365 pounds excuse my son he's in the background but uh yeah so 365 pounds got that up uh felt felt pretty decent let me uh i haven't i haven't watched it so i'm not sure my form but uh you guys of course you guys will let me know whether my form was jacked up or not so i appreciate that in advance but anyways so after that, after that 365 pounds, I went ahead and bumped up to the, I mean, bumped down to 275 pounds and did that five reps, two sets for five reps. Say it again. Yeah. So I went ahead and did uh, two sets of five on that. So, and then I also wanted to play around with the, um, the high bar squat, which I haven't done in a long time. So I went ahead and just had 135 and did some squats for high bar uh it felt pretty weird being that i haven't did it in a long time i'm actually have got addicted to the low bar squats because it allows me to go lower and push more weight and less stress on my lower back anyways moving on to the um leg press went ahead and bumped it up seven plates my last leg press workout i did six plates four reps of eight uh, four sets of eight, sorry. And so this day I did seven plates, 
uh, three sets. I believe I did three sets of six. Nah, I actually think I did four sets of six. Keep it an even number. So you have four sets of six. Really digging deep, really pushing it. Seven plates was pretty, pretty taxing. Definitely heavy. I'm not even going. Uh, I'm not even going to sugarcoat it. It was definitely some heavy weight. So after that, went ahead and uh, took uh, took all plates off except for one, and I left one on each side. And I cranked out 12 reps um, of single leg leg press. So 12 reps, 12 reps on each side. I did that for about three sets, and I superset it with some calf raises. So definitely. Why you making all that noise, man? What's up? I'm talking to the uh, I'm talking to my X Factor family. They want to see my workout. Huh? You don't want to see my workout? Yeah. Oh, you want to see it too? Yeah. All right, let's see it. Okay. So then after the leg press, uh, quads are pump. Blood is flowing. I'm pretty sure they're pretty veiny, but I don't have any shorts on, so I can't tell. But uh, I moved on to some hamstrings. Did some leg curls. Did some sets of 12 to 15. Really aiming for 15 and going fairly heavy, heavier than usual. I did 130 pounds, so uh, it felt pretty good. Um, making sure I squeeze, not really throwing it, but making sure I get some type of uh, contraction and keep tension on the hamstrings throughout the whole movement. So uh, I guess a tip for for the leg curls is just to be loose, be loose with your legs and just let them hang. You ain't you ain't talking about nothing, man. So then to finish off the workout, I went ahead and um, hold on. Let me get let me finish. I'm almost done right here. So I did some goblet squats. So I did I acclimated the weight on these as well with some dumbbells, and then I stopped at uh, 80 pounds and I cranked out uh, four reps of eight. So with these goblet squats, pretty much helps you with your uh, it helps with the butt wink. If you don't know what a butt wink is. Basically, is when you round your back uh, at the when you're pushing up from the bottom half of the squat, the bottom section of the squat, and you're pushing up and you round the lower back. That's called a butt wink. I should have explained that earlier. Sorry about that, guys. But that's pretty much one of the struggles I was having with the low bar squat. I guess I was going heavy and I had such I had some sort of butt wink going on. So, anyways, uh, this movement allows me to fix that and. Uh, Make I guess make my lower back stronger. I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but pretty much form and technique is the key thing with this exercise, and it makes everything better. So I went ahead and cranked out four sets of eight. 80 pounds, pretty heavy. It's like a front squat to me. Uh, that's how I think about it. And then uh, when the locker room felt pumped, so I went ahead and did some uh, some flexing on my quads. You guys, I'm not sure if you guys ever seen my quads, but here they go. After a pump, um, sitting at to that. This day was 189.8, I believe. Yeah, 189.8. Yep, so that's what my quads are looking right, like, right. This is what my quads are looking like right now. But anyways, uh, thank you guys for listening to this commentary. I will catch you guys in the rest of the video. So bye. Bye-bye. Post-workout, one banana, and I only got one scoop of protein in here. So... Just to, just because I've been going over on protein, I want to control it more, so I just do one scoop right now, and if I need more protein, I'll take another scoop later on at night. Traffic is crazy right now, so I'm gonna go ahead and take the time out, talk to y'all for a minute. It's safe to vlog while you're not driving, so let me do so. Anyways, update you guys on the weight loss or the weight progress. I didn't do that this morning. You did see me step on the scale 189.8, so the weight went up 0.6 pounds. Uh, not bad. I'm, I think I have found. Well, let me see how I put this. I think I am now in the 180s for good. So 180, 189 and below is only to come soon. I don't think I'll be touching 190 anymore, hopefully. 
and I mean we'll see tomorrow. Today I have I'm gonna have a little bit more carbs than usual. It's a leg day, and like I said, on my leg days I now want to take in probably like five to ten more grams of carbs. So today I'm gonna be taking in uh, 180. 280 <laughs> 180 that's crazy so yeah, i'm taking in 280 grams of carbs today uh yeah i mean that's what it is uh i'm not really reverse dieting but i am trying to increase my calorie calories to a place where i can still cut and eat a lot of food so right now i'm at about 2300 calories i think i can go 24 25 and still uh, lose weight properly what I might do as well though and I've been thinking about it for a while I might start carb cycling like I did when I was in contest prep mode and what I basically did was have low carb days and have high carb days and I think I want to go back to that you know um, I saw a lot of progress with that and a lot of fat loss with that so I think I might go back I'm gonna still play it by ear Still play by ear, but I think I might uh, go keep my carbs at about 250 and then have high carb days, 300 carbs, um, you know, and just keep increasing like that. But I might just stick to 250. Well, I mean, we'll see. We'll play by ear. But anyways, I'm on my way to the gym right now uh, to train. Well, I think I'm supposed to be training my wife and my client. We don't really have a set schedule. That's why it's always if you know or maybe you know so i'm leaving work now i just text her so hopefully she'll text me back she usually gets off work in about 30 minutes it is five o'clock 1701 military time so i mean we'll see but of course i'll let you guys know what we do and if i don't go to the gym i'll go home and cook so check with you guys when i figure something out got your mama pulling up yeah mama Gotta get some good old Subway. You ready? Oh, 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 oh. Hold my hand. Let's roll. Got you on the black. About to get that signature sub that I got. Put my wife on so she want she want to get some of that. Put you on to that goodness. Cucumbers, lettuce, onions, light mayo, chipotle. I'm scared of taking a bite. Come on. They should put my name on this up. Because, hey, but what you think about that dude that was um making our setup? I heard you whisper. I heard you <laughs> he was talk mad. That some people whisper instead of just saying something. Like myself, like he must have just he must have just started working there. Because he, that was so rude. Well, because he didn't know how to fold the sub. Yeah, but then he, I don't know how y'all do this, man. Legit, he made me a kids club sub like it was like that big and i'm looking at it like i don't know what is, i don't know what's the problem but he ain't know how to fold my joint and he almost jacked it up oh i got some provolone cheese on there tonight get some more fats in oh you can't be sharing i don't want that what's up man what you got you got some apple some apple jacks that's my favorite what about you hey you got that Y'all yeah, got me a sub, man. You like that? Make some sub games. Oh, this is all me. I want to get fingers. Okay. Just made my wife a protein shake. She got the strawberry cake. One scoop. I got one scoop of the milk and cookies. So, we got a protein. Then we'll get our vitamins in. My son got his. So, now we're going to get ours. These are her Optima Women multivitamins. So, ladies, go check them out. Pretty good. Pill form. You know me, no pills for me. Gummies. I'm gonna get her some too when she finishes this. She has started to 
count her macros while well, I'm counting them for. I'm counting the macros for her, so got her straight. So she she's about to make some gains. Shout out to my wife. Got her in the gym. Probably getting her in there four days a week. Or something of the sort. Anyways, oh yeah, I got me five egg whites as well. She won't be doing that though. She actually hates egg whites, so she should be all right. Boo! Yes, These protein shakes. Okay. <laughs> can't put you on camera though. No, you can't. really come to drink that the whole time on camera. That's so good. Fast forward it. Oh. Don't. <laughs> Why are you running? I'm in my comfortable home. I'm trying. I'm comfortable. You have me all up on the I just want you to taste it. Okay, I just want you to taste it. I ain't gonna put you on there, but they want to know if it tastes good. Oh, it smells awful. Like, it's strawberry cake. She you sucks. know I like strawberry like that. Alright, go ahead. I'll do the face for you. Yeah. <laughs> now it's a... Oh yeah, that's it. <laughs> <laughs> Nervous. Alright, go ahead. She's drinking it. She's drinking it. That's good. Oh, that's good. No. No. A little bit though. Give it another. Give it another go. It's strawberry it tastes just like strawberry. Mm. Strawberry cake. We're gonna make some like some protein pancakes and stuff with that. <laughs> she plugging her nose. Better? Okay, I'm not drinking. <laughs> 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 Champ, 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 champ. Anyways, yeah, so. Oh. Oh. Oh, you look like Christian. You all right? All right, let's get these vitamins in. Just finished washing the dishes. About to call it a night, go shower up, go to bed. It's getting late. Well, it's not that late. It's actually only uh, 9.30. But I'm a, I like to go to sleep early, man. I think it's early. I mean, I gotta wake up, go to work, so gotta go to sleep. Plus, you make the most progress when you get just proper sleep. I say seven to eight hours of sleep is great. I mean, a lot of people don't get a lot of sleep, and I used to sleep for about five to six hours, you know, but I have made it to where I can sleep for a good seven to eight on average. So, I take advantage of it, man. Sleep is necessary for your body to function the right way. So, in order to lift heavy weights, and progressing to the gym, you gotta have all your energy, you gotta have all your focus, so it starts with your sleep. But anyways, go ahead and do that. Like, comment, subscribe, and I will check with you guys in the morning. Thank you for watching. Peppers, onions, and some lettuce. Oh, I need some cheese. Wait one second. There we go. 